I remember. I remember those memories as though the memory was the moment. They are inscribed on my soul. We were young, just past the age of puppy love, and our love was as tender as the night, filled with light, air, with bubbles that could not burst, and spring. But I was crazy about you. I would walk with you to the end of time. You illuminated me like a bright star, brilliant. You were my honey, sweet and sticky. And with you, I made secrets, secrets to be shared with you alone. I wanted you so bad, I could taste you. It was not a rich woman's love, but something to gain. But a yearning born of heat, torn and wild, strong with odor, blood, shit, madness. You were my unsung hero. My Malcolm, my Martin, my own strong jewel, my myth in the making, all sex, power, and black. I liked you that way. I could sit in front of and back of or crawl alongside of you. It really didn't matter, and I knew no shame. But we were trapped in an ageless labyrinth of imperial power. So our love stood in the shadows of an insidious force. We were riding against time and history and ourselves. I knew I'd lose you. That maybe you'd be dead by day, killed by an assassin's bullet gone before nightfall like a thousand, a thousand others, or maybe even like an outlaw sent to the underground. Foolish and fearless, we were fear, black, new, and the future. And we laughed against the coming of that day, and love. But like my father, the myth became a man, and I a woman. And things began to fall apart, my world to fall apart. While standing in the spotlight of history, I knew all was lost. And I stumbled along in the recesses of my mind, looking for answers that were not there, trying to find the broken threads, the missing pieces, the remains, to fit it all back together again, like it was when we could taste the sun in our mouths, long ago and far away, and before everything. Before everything. And we were not yet beaten by time or circumstance, by age or greed or clubs or rage, loss and suffering, defeats large or small. Before the bombings and the burnings, the torture and the mysterious deaths, the disease and the destruction, before confusion and misdirection, before detention, Sharpeville, Soweto, before the loss of you, before you were snatched from my loving embrace, before the dust settled upon your soul and covered even you in crime, sending you into an endless darkness, before the exile and the murder of our friends and the kidnapping of our children, before death squads and passports and the ANC, before truth and reconciliation, after your release, and before my judgment, when it was just me and you and us together against the world, against the will of my mother and the blessing of my father, before any and all of this, when we were younger than young, and you rode me a hobby horse into the age of revolution, whispering you loved me. I was mad about you, giddy and drunk.